I'm told tonight that they had a lot of fires to the north of this area, where to north of Palo Pinto, where they had a lot of land that they didn't have homes in. So they had trees, they had forests. They had a lot of crews up there that they decided to move back down to Palo Pinto to form sort of a, a wall, a line, so that they could defend that town from this fire. It has still not reached Palo Pinto tonight. The winds have sort of died down over the last probably hour and a half, which has helped that situation. Earlier on, as you heard in that story, they thought that it was going to hit probably in less than an hour. But uh, certainly that's changed tonight, and they're just right now taking a wait-and-see approach. Yeah, Brandon, those folks got out fast. So, so talk about the plan in place for them. Where are those evacuees going? Well, as you heard in that story there, mm -hmm. some of them have family that they're able to go to in Mineral Wells. Also, for the rest of them, uh, the Red Cross has opened up a shelter in Mineral Wells at the Mineral Wells Junior High School. No one so far has gone to that shelter, but it is open, and uh, they are waiting for people there. Now, as far as that shelter that was open in Grayford, which was to the to the uh, north of Palo Pinto, 